I'm going to show you how to split a clip to isolate a section of audio. I've previously made a recording on one of our Roland audio recorders. We also have Marantz units. I've taken the memory card out of the device and I've plugged it into the card reader at the Mac and you'll see the card is displayed here. So I'm going to open it just to show you I've got two audio tracks. I want to work with the second one today so just for my ease I'm going to drag it to the desktop. Noticing that it makes a copy. So let's have a look here at this file extension. Normally it's lowercase m, lowercase p. The device gives it uppercase and GarageBand doesn't know what to do with that. So ch right away change the file extension to lowercase m, lowercase p. What will happen is you'll try to drop your file into the GarageBand project and it won't drop. So that's the number one fix right there. I've already got GarageBand um, open so I'm going to create a new project here and I'm going to call it Split Clip. Notice that I've got desktop selected because that's the last place that I saved something, but normally the default is your GarageBand folder. I'm just saving it to the desktop for my own ease, not worrying anything about tempo, key signature, time signature, because we're not making an actual song here. We're just going to be editing some, some voices, some speech. So here we are in the GarageBand window. We actually don't need this grand piano track, so I'm going to go up to the track menu and go delete track and it'll go away. I'm going to pick up my mp3 file and notice as soon as I cover, hover over the GarageBand project window I get a little plus sign underneath my arrow telling me that that this is droppable and the horizontal line tells me where it's going to land in the timeline so I'm going to drag it to the very beginning it'll import it and start my clip right at the beginning of the timeline. Let's listen. This is me testing how to split a clip into segments. So set the first split point right here or cut the track. So that's where I've said I want to cut the track. Now obviously if you're making a recording of someone, um, an interview or something like that, they're not going to tell you to split the clip. You'll be searching for that, but just for ease I did it that way. So the playhead is where I want to split the clip. This is the playhead here and that's where all the action is going to happen. So I'm going to go edit split and it's going to split that track in two. Now let's listen further. Okay so now this is the part of the track that we want to hang on to as if we were going to import it into a PowerPoint or send it to our prof and this is the end of it so we're going to split the clip or cut this piece right here now. Okay so it's asking me to make another split I'm going to go edit split and now we have the piece that we want in isolation. We've got the stuff at the beginning, the stuff in the middle that we want to keep, and the stuff at the end that we don't need. I'm, I actually first click on the, on the gray screen so that I deselect everything. I'm going to select the first section and I'm going to go edit, delete, and I'm going to select the second section and I'm going to do the same thing, edit, delete, and now I've got my remaining clip that I actually want. I'm going to drag it to the beginning of the timeline and now it starts at the beginning. So I'm going to drag that playhead all the way back to the beginning. You can also hit the backslash button right underneath the delete key. It will do the same thing and either by pressing play down on the controls or the spacebar. Okay so now this is the part of the track that we want to hang on to as if we were going to import it into a PowerPoint or send it to our prof and this is the end of it so we're going to split the clip or cut this piece right here now. Okay, so that's great. There's just one little thing we've got to do. If we scroll our window over, we're going to see a little purple triangle at the top of the timeline. Can you see it over here at 33? It's at the end of 32 measures. This is measures or bars. So I'm going to drag it over so that it's up at the end of my track. And what that is is the end point of the song. So if I were to export it, and leave the purple triangle where it was, then there'd be all this blank space at the end of my track. This tells um, GarageBand when you're exporting that this is the end right here. So we're basically done here. Uh, you could do sort of any panning or volume adjustments if you had to do that here, but I think it sounds okay. So I'm going to go share export song to disk and this is where you choose an AAC encoder or an mp3 encoder, choose your quality, I could go in here and do custom, I'm gonna say 192 um, and I think that's gonna work out fine, stereo, it was recorded in stereo so we're gonna say okay and we're gonna export it 
it's going to ask us where, so it's going to default to where our project is with the same title, which is fine with me. So I'm going to save that, and now we've got our split clip. When I open it up, it's a little quick time file. Okay, so now this is the part of the track that we want to hang on to. And there it is. So congratulations, you've split your clip. It's super easy, and I hope you have as much success as I did.